Hello everybody, Slow Show 9 here, and today we're going to do a buying guide, a buying guide that hasn't been done before on this channel, and this is actually my first buying guide. So we're doing the buying guide today of the Xbox 360. There are three versions of the Xbox 360. You have the original Xbox 360 which released in 2005. You have a 360 that released in 2010, which was the Xbox S. And then you have one that released in 2013 called the Xbox 360E. We're going to talk about all those variations, um, talk about some of the accessories, and maybe I have 10 games right here that you could get on day one. So there you go. So let's talk about the consoles. So with the original one, the it was a white one or a black one, the original Xbox 360 released in 2005. And when the Xbox 360 released, you well, you got the system, a couple of games, and a 20 gigabyte hard drive, or maybe not even that. Uh, but for the Xbox 360, it had a high failure rate, an extremely high failure rate, that even Microsoft was even so upset about that there was not really much that they could really do. They extended the warranty for the system for up to three years. They did so much. You would even send it back and even Microsoft would give you another unit and some units were even Red Ring as well. It was mainly something for the main board pretty much. Uh, they actually ended up fixing that in around like the 2007 Xbox 360 and even the 2008. And when they fixed that, it, it still was a problem. So, in 2010, they released the Xbox 360S, which actually fixed most of those problems, if not all of them. It fixed most of the problems. Uh, I have heard that there are a few Xbox 360 um, Slims that do have red rings. Uh, it's very few. It's very seldom that it has it. They actually re they revised the main board. They revised the fan. They revised a lot of stuff in the Xbox 360S. They didn't do so much with the E, though. And we're going to talk about more about this because I have the E right here. Uh, but with the Xbox 360 the original one it was very loud it was not not reliable at all but the good thing was you could attach your hard drive <clears throat> and that was the good thing <clears throat> so that is the best thing about the original 360 also the original xbox 360 did not have no wi-fi which really sucks so the xbox 360 s and the xbox 360 e has built-in wi-fi in it which is awesome so connect to the internet right in your home which is highly fantastic now, with the E, we're going to talk about the E real quick. Uh, this is the console that I have. This is the E, and this model came out in 2013. This is the 4 gigabyte system. And with this 4 gigabyte system, you don't get much space. Uh, I do not have a hard drive in here, and I can actually show you where the hard drive thing piece goes into this. It goes onto the back. I'm going to take it out. And there's the hard drive bay, which does not have a hard drive in it. You can buy one, put one in there. It really doesn't matter if you put one in there or not. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but this is the same thing as the S, and it's not much smaller. But I don't know what the E stands for. Maybe end. It's supposed to replica and look of the Xbox One, which it does. And if anybody wants to know, yes, this is used. There's not many new features with the 360 anymore because they don't really update it no more. Uh, the, the, they actually had an update, I think it was maybe about a year ago. Within two, within, the first, within two years. It took them two years to make another update for the system. But that's that. And we were just talking about space, right? So the original 360 had an arcade one, which had automatic memory in it which the memory was like 512 megabytes, things like that. You get a hard drive, you get a 20. I believe you can get a 40, I don't, I don't know, I could be wrong. 20, 60, 120, 250, and I think, and I think a 320, I'm not sure, but for the Slim, you had a four gigabyte, you had 120, you had a 250 and a 320. With the E now, you have a 4 gig, you have a 250 gig, and then you have a 500 gig, and that's it. 
People are wondering, why did I only get the 4 gig? We will talk about that later. Uh, within, but now let's go ahead and let's talk about some accessories. Just a few of them. I only have two of them showing here today, but we're going to talk about a bunch of them. Uh, especially if you're an online gamer, you can get a headset. There's plenty of headsets out there, especially for the Xbox 360. If you can use the ones on the Xbox One, you probably can use them on 360. I'm not entirely sure. You leave in the comments as well. Uh, with that, there also is a keyboard that plugs into the bottom of the controller. You can use that too to type and things like that. Uh, there's more. There's a charger kit. There's a bunch of other things. And this is the controller. Uh, this is also an accessory. The battery pack. That's an accessory. Uh, just the controller. There's fight pads. There's all bunch of things. Now, something that we can also talk about accessories is the Xbox 360 could only allow up to 32 gigs at one time. Once uh, the Xbox One released, one guy who made a really smart choice to, rev to reverse everything on that. This is a 64 gigabyte external flash drive. And I use this on a daily mainly just for my save games and mainly just my downloadable games that's all I use this for I don't use it for anything else maybe some apps maybe that's about it other than that I do not use it for nothing else and it's highly amazing and yeah that's really about how much I really like this so there you go now let's get into some games uh, these are the top 10 that I that I pick that should be picked out on day one most of these are exclusives I just want to let you guys know ahead of time, and two of them are third-party titles, which I mostly play all the time. So let's go and let's finish. Let's go and let's go with this. Uh, pretty much, this is an exclusive anyway, but it's not. Uh, Soul Calibur 4. With Soul Calibur 4, you can actually play as Yoda. That's the only exclusive part about this. Other than that, it's not exclusive. But I highly, highly recommend picking this up. I buy all my games probably mostly from GameStop for use because it's really cheap. This game was about eight dollars. So you can literally find it cheap. Uh, Final Fantasy 13. I absolutely love this game. I got this game for five dollars. So most of these games are going to be extremely cheap that you can buy today. Most of them really are really cheap. Perfect Dark Zero in a steel case book for two bucks. You can't beat that. It has a steel case book right there. There you go. The steel case. Gears of War 3, $2. Great game. I've beaten it. It's fantastic. Do yourself a favor, pick it up. Uh, one other thing that Xbox 360 did do, something that most consoles didn't, is when you have DLC, or not even just DLC, but downloadable games and you don't have internet, you resort to this. So this is highly worth it. And this is exclusive to the 360 because this exact game is exclusive to the 360. Uh, you like racing games? No problem. Forza Motorsport. Better than Gran Turismo. You like first person shooters? No problem. You have your Halos. Call of Duty's good, but that's on every system. You want some good ones? There's Halo. You want some unique titles? You want something unique? How about Bomberman? Bomberman Act Zero. Uh, I really don't even like this game. The only reason why I have this game is just because it's an exclusive. And it was only two dollars. Uh, Burger King made some games too. This didn't includes the original one, but I don't see that. Oh, maybe it can play. Oh, it can play. I think on 360 and Xbox, can't it? Yeah, it can. That's awesome. Christian Anderson. Uh, if you traded this in, I bought this today. But if you ever want it, let me know and shoot me up in the comments, and I'll definitely send it to you. $2. Now, all these games are extremely cheap. Just the Xbox 360e 4GB system was only $90. That's relatively cheap. Those are just 10 games you can get with the system today. With all these games, well, except the flash drive. Flash drive was about $20, which is nothing. You get all those games flash drive, probably for maybe about $130. Maybe less than that. Maybe $120. At most, maybe 130 or 135 at most. You're, you're saving a ton of money. Something that with the Xbox One, you can buy a used one for about $200. You can get two games for it that are used. You'd probably be looking at about 230 245 probably. 
But with this, you're looking at about 130. This is well more worth it, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not saying the Xbox One isn't worth it, but I still think 360 is really worth it for a bunch of reasons, and I highly, highly recommend it. If you're a huge fan of huge fan of Xbox 360 or just a huge fan of Xbox in general, pick yourself one up. It's a great system. I highly recommend it. I cannot tell you how much I love it. It has given me a lot of fun to play. And plus there's downloadable games on the system that are exclusive to the system that's not exclusively on PlayStation or Nintendo. Like Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, Perfect Dark, State of Decay, Trials Fusion. That's not on PS3. That is on Xbox One and PS4, but it's not on PS3. It's not on the Wii. It's not on the Wii U. It's not on the Switch. So it's well worth it getting this system for. Uh, Fable, Fable Heroes... That's exclusive to the 360. Most games that are on this system are exclusive to it that you won't find on PSN. Uh, one of the major ones is the King of Fighter Classics. You will not find that really on the PS3, probably except for a couple of them that for from PS1. That's about it. Other than that, you won't find it nowhere. I highly, highly recommend this. I really do. Thank you so much.